Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Noble War. And Max is black. Mm, excuse me, that tasted like... Cider? Apple cider and candy cane kisses. Like the chocolates. Nice. Delicious, by the way. Yummy. We're bringing you guys another inbox to icebox. Sent yes. in by the fans to www.lag.tv, L-A-G.tv, Mr. Maximus Black. <sighs> yes, no war. I have no idea what to tell you to do here. Uh, we got, what do we got? What's the other guy's name? I got one. You got one? Oh, then hit me up with what you got. Let's talk about Zach's baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, that's all I had. Well, it's pretty good. Thanks. And topical, I was thinking outside of the box, you know. Topical? No, you weren't. No pun. You were thinking inside of it. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about Zex. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty epic considering the conversation we just finished in the last cast. Yeah, pretty good. Go Two, watch that. Uh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at Zex, the Red Terran in the top, and Vita, the Vita. Vita. Okay. Vita. Like, uh, but like a different spelling. Uh, like you could, we could have done a Ricky Martin "Living to Vita Loca." Ooh, Ooh, that would have been a good one too. Yeah. Living yeah. Vita Loca. Man, he was really popular for like a short period of time. Dude, apparently he's still like pretty popular, but not in North America. Just not America. here. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's not surprising. Yeah. He was a legit singer, dude. When he first came out, like he was huge. And before he came out of the closet, yeah. Like he was like. A megastar. Yeah, he was it. Yeah, and then and then when he was like, "Yeah, I'm gay," some people were like, "Well, you're still Ricky Martin, and we love you." Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, but we but, all we but all most, knew. But we most, all knew. We all knew. We all knew. They knew he wasn't fooling nobody. It was weird because I watched a uh, documentary on Ricky Martin probably about a year ago, mm -hmm. and it showed like his career and and how he got on like a music awards or or maybe it was like the Grammys or something, and he made his first. North American appearance because apparently he was somewhere else and uh, like the world just basically fell in love with the guy instantaneously Immediately. like it was just, just like yeah, oh, just oh a, shit just right out of nowhere yeah when she bangs she bangs she bangs when unfortunately she unfortunately now when everybody hears that song they think of the uh, the Chinese guy instead of Ricky Martin yeah that's sad that's unfortunate when she bangs she bangs, she bangs. oh baby <laughs> what she move? move? She move. Go crazy. Looks like a flower, but she stings like a bee. Look, 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 look. I speak Chinese. I don't know where I was going with that, but it was, well, it worked. I was going in. Here comes a it bit worked. of some pressure here so, from Zach. Whoa, is, that got aggressive real quick. Well, I mean, he, he got rid of most of the threat. And he, he needs to go after that coming. pylon. That's very, very doing. smart. But it looks like, oh, nice. I like the pro pull there, forcing a uh, cancel. And a couple of zealots are going to come out, but the bunker is finished. Very nice. So that's going to be bad news bears here for uh, for Vita. Oh, I believe this is a Masters game, by the way. Oh. We did two. Last game was a bronze game. Oh. And this is a Masters game. Great. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So uh, we're gonna, we're, we should see, some if I'm good correct, play. some good play out of this whole thing. And right now, I would say that we're seeing just about what we need to see with that cancellation, that pullback, with that uh, move with the probes, all very nice stuff. Yep, no, nope, Gonna be uh, getting some pokes in and out with us, Billy Jean, just trying to harass those uh, those zealots and bring them down towards the bunker just like that and work away at it. The moment he gets the shields down and the health down, just that one bar, he's that's a successful that's a win. harass right yep, there. Yeah, that's the, I love a good successful harass. <laughs> Zach's gonna go ahead and grab two. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Sexual harassment. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, let's put it this yes. way: when a zealot goes under his shields, there will be absolutely no sexual healing. Sexual, baby. That's. <laughs> I'm pulling it out. Oh, I'm pulling no, it out. Please, no, well, I'm not pulling. Please, please don't while we're talking no, about I'm not, that. Yeah, I'm not pulling nothing out, but you no, know what I'm saying? I'm not, pulling out all the stops I'm pick, here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. There you go. Yep. Okay. Well, looks like we have the expansion happening while he deni uh, denies the expansion of Ricky Martin. Uh, and he's instead going to go straight for that robo right out of the gate. That's a great move to go. I'm digging it. Yes, yeah, it's really the only move to go. He needs to get the hell out of this base. He needs to either get Immortals, bust down this wall, 
or uh, get a warp prism the, well, the and get the hell out of the there. The really unfortunate part about going up against marines in bunkers like this is that immortals aren't great against marines. They get melted pretty, pretty quickly. And so it's, it's like you use it as a meat shield, but you need to do it right the first time because otherwise that's the most expensive yeah. meat shield well, that you lose of all time. Immortals are, are pretty cost effective at the beginning of a game, but mid-late game, they're useless. Pretty much useless. They're useless. Uh, Unless and, you have and, like 90 yeah, and even still, you can't even get 90. So it's like, it's just, it's one of those things where even 90 immortals against a huge, massive bio ball, oh, so it, you're rolled. just going to get rolled, right? Yeah. So um, I, I think at this point, if I was Vita, I would have gotten that robo, but I'd be grabbing a bay and I'd just uh, one base Colossus push. I gear. almost feel like it's too late for him to try and get out of here and then get a Nexus. Well, with three bunkers, it's going to be real difficult to try and pull that off at this point. And, of course, it is eight minutes into the game. So. Yeah. yeah, and I and look, look at this. Zex here has already oh, got oh, the factory. Oh. He's thinking about going. He doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. He's thinking about it. And there's about the it. Immortal. So he will be able to bust this with that Immortal. But, damn, he's going to take a lot of heat in the process. He's going to lose pretty much everything that he has in his forces uh, after that. And so, if uh, if Zex was smart, he, he might actually just prepare for an immediate turnaround here. Um, of course, depending on how comfortable he feels. But, really, I mean, three bunkers full of Marines. Yep, she's going to be a tough one. Vita is going to lose damn near everything. Got to get those zealots attack. in the front. Here All we go. Be up front. Here we go. The immortal is slow at getting down there. The mortal can't oh, get no, down. Oh, no, that's a fail. He's taking... Way too much damage. These zealots are in the front. There's two zealots in between that just couldn't get down there, and yeah, that can't. was not worth it. No, that was not worth it at all. You just lost, what, four zealots to that push? The zealots weren't out in front. The stalkers held the immortal back. The immortal couldn't hit the bunker. Not all the units were attacking, and he lost way too much there. Now he's going to be able to get down here what and do What is this immortal damage. doing, man? What are you doing? He should be singling out. This is not Master's Play. What are you doing? Pull your pants up. He could have just wiped everything there if he just A moved and made sure the immortal. And look at this. Zex is just playing this phenomenally. Bringing back two Marines to keep those units busy so that the other Marines. Look at this. Taking one back one at a time to Beauty. slow down the entire army to make sure that the majority of the Billy Jeans get back to base safely. Very, very nice play by Zex. Just. Fucking oh, perfect. Absolutely. Taking, Sorry about the French, well, but it's it, it Random F-bomb out of nowhere there. It was good, man. Oh, no, it was great. I appreciate not good play. Not enough people do that. When they send back one unit like that, not enough but, people uh -oh. do that. But, uh-oh, they're catching up here. The Stalkers are getting up with the rest of the Marines now. And the Bunkers aren't prepared, Mr. Maximus Black. Nope. And with an Immortal there, this is going to be a lot for Zex to handle. Yeah, it's going to be a whole lot. He might actually lose his natural here. He needs to keep these Marines back. And actually, no, I don't really agree with that. I almost would have rather sacrificed those three bunkers to buy a bit of time wow. to be able to get out an immortal or, um, a marauder or two uh, that would have been would have been that's gg oh my god that's gg zex what are you doing you outplayed your opponent there you dropped the ball he just lost the two zealots three uh, stalkers and one immortal oh zex why i had such high hopes for a master's game to all be good he, literally all he needed to do was a run well absolutely run these marines away from that until the marauders came out once the marauders came out you focus fire on the immortal you use your marines and he he, he had three racks and i mean he even had a factory there it wasn't over no it just it wasn't over but he instantly tried to salvage this and it just allowed uh vita too or, quick on the draw to immediately go up the ramp yeah and you, you don't want that you just want to buy time i mean he had a whole crap ton of scvs he could have pulled the scvs had the marines into two marauders this would have been just eaten up easy hold and it would have been two base versus one base and look what he has back here nothing, nothing. only 225 minerals only 20 probes against two orbital commands three racks that are already out and a factory and he's just one star port away from having banshees I mean... That's a bad time. It was just... That is unfortunate. But you know what? Unfortunate. Kudos to Vita for, for doing his thing. Well, I mean, Vita really, at the end of the day, did what he needed to do. It was really close as to just, uh, like you were saying, whether or not he should be doing an immortal push-out or just one base Colossus uh, pushing. Uh, I would say he was, like, on the very line that mm -hmm. he needed to, especially with three full bunkers like that. And, of course, he made that major mistake there in the beginning. Uh, and really, I thought that was going to be it. I thought Zex had been home free. Even though this is inboxed icebox, yeah. I still thought Zex was like, well, there's no, I was like, there's no way Zex could possibly lose that position. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, he just leaves the game prematurely. Wasn't good, wasn't good, but the game was good. Uh, what I'm saying wasn't good is Zex just, 
I hate seeing people throw away games because I do it often on the ladder and I beat myself up for it. Yeah, it's but the worst. Anyway, you learn from it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter. Both of those links are in the description below. And head over to lag.tv where you can submit to us your when cheese fails, inbox to icebox, normal ass normal games, and everything else in between. And of course, there's a great place where you can hang out with the community, talk in the forums, and all of the information on what we're doing on both channels are up there as well. And you'll be able to, by the time this cast is up, notice when Jeff and I are live. So if you've ever had problems with the Twitch inbo- uh, email issue when we go live and you don't get uh, notified when Jeff and I are live, well, guess what? No you don't need to worry about that anymore. No excuses. The site will have two buttons at the top of the page. They get refreshed every five minutes. And if we are live, you will be able to click on the button and go through and watch our live stream. So tons of reasons. Go register. Make it a homepage. Spend some time on there. Be part of the Lag TV community. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.